Hello and welcome. As I was watching late night television the other night, I was constantly being reminded about this little space heater called the Handy Heater. And they claim that you could plug this into the receptacle of a wall outlet and it eliminated wires or space that a conventional electric heater used. So as a gadget guy, I ran out and got one and figured we'd try it out for the show today and see if it uh, holds up to its claims and see if it's worthy of its $30 price tag. So as seen on TV, this is the Handy Heater Review. So there is the handy heater out of the box. It's a pretty good looking little unit and it includes this little pamphlet on how to use it. The box itself claims that the heater is good for garages and bedrooms, living rooms, bathrooms, dorms, offices and more. And it also states that it has a full 350 watts of power. And of course, the most appealing feature of the heater itself is the size compared to a full-size electric freestanding model. The plastic housing seems pretty durable and well thought out. It has a modern, pleasing look. The wall plug on the back can rotate a full 180 degrees to fit in any three-prong outlet and there is a large power switch on the side for on off conditions let's go ahead and plug it in and take a look at it and see what it can do so i've got the unit plugged in and i must apologize the fan is a bit loud and hopefully you'll still be able to hear me over the top of it so the front panel has a pretty large led display that's lit and I noticed that it's angled well for viewing from the baseboard while standing, so it's at its optimal angle. When the heater is running, it displays the temperature it's set to, so right now it's set to go to 75 degrees and then maintain that. And the control panel offers a thermostat range from 60 to 90 degrees. And you can do that by using these buttons and go from 60 all the way up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. It also has a programmable timer from 1 to 12 hours and you can do that by using this button here and as soon as the timer expires it will automatically shut off. And one more feature on the control panel there's a speed control for the fan. Right now I've got it set to low so you can hear me better but if I press it I can go to the high speed. The fan is not a, a very annoying sounding high whining, but it is audible as you can hear, so it's something to consider. Other features listed that you can't really see but are included, it has a uh, ceramic heating element in the front, that's how it works. And then this plastic is stay cool and it has automatic shut off circuitry. I'm using a digital thermometer to check the temperature of the coils and currently the ceramic coils are around 225 degrees so this is hot enough to burn like a small child or anyone for that matter but that's something to consider if you do have little ones and the actual plastic case is around 100 degrees and near the wall it's in the 80s so that's more than acceptable so I wouldn't expect any problems being close to the wall it's designed for that reason. But I would keep hanging curtains and other flammable things away from this. But I don't see any danger as long as precautions are taken. I don't think there's a problem with this at all. Let's check the wattage of it with a meter and see if it's as advertised of 350. I've connected the handy heater to a wattage usage meter and I'm just checking the actual power consumption. The actual heater itself is 350 watts and as you can see 
it's coming in at 366 currently so we owe the other remaining to the fan and the electronics and that's not really surprising because it does have a pretty heavy duty fan so if I up the speed it was on low you can see that will come up slightly so that indicates that the fan is just ramping up but the uh, heating elements themselves are still on high so with 350 watts how is that going to heat your room I would say if you're used to a 1500 freestanding model if you were to have it on its lowest setting that's what you would expect from this unit let's go out for some final thoughts so that is it that is my review on the handy heater now as far as how do I feel about this now what is this and what is this these are obviously two different things and you cannot expect this to perform like this now my comments regarding the 350 watts versus the 1500 watts I did do a test and I put the watt meter on this big one which is a 1500 watt and on low power settings it was drawing just about the same as this was which is just under 400 watts so I believe that statement's probably going to be true what this bigger one would do on the low setting you would expect this one to do thereabout because they're both ceramic in nature so they're about as far as the the sound of the fan yes it is kind of a loud fan but it's a low sounding not a high revving fan whereas this one is quite a bit quieter because it's bigger and it doesn't turn as fast so that is a consideration I will say that the literature that is on the box for the handy heater is a bit of a stretch when it says that it can heat a bedroom I would say more of a powder room or a bathroom or like I said under your desk to heat your feet when it's cold that kind of thing and this would be perfect for other than that I think it's a good heater it's built well I like the way that the controls are I think it's uh, completely safe as long as you would use it um, with you know keeping the curtains and stuff out of mine so anyway I'd like to hear what you have to say about the handy heater and uh, again I think uh, for 30 bucks it's a pretty good bargain if this is what you're looking for if you're looking to heat your living room or a large bedroom I'd say forget it so I hope you enjoyed that please give us one of these let us know what you think about it in the comments we'll see you on the next one bye for now